Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to create a birthday greeting card using Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Doodly offers a fun and easy way to wish somebody a happy birthday. Today, I'll walk you through the steps of creating a greeting card and showing you how to add text and images to make it look great. Today, we're going to just say something simple like, Happy birthday, Rachel, wishing you all the best on this special day. We also need to think about the birthday person's favorite things. Well, Rachel likes flowers and cupcakes, so we're going to incorporate those into our design. If you have a photo of the two of you together, that might be fun to include as well. Okay, so we have our concept figured out, so it's time to get started. This example here are built-in graphics that you can find in Doodly in case you're interested. Under characters, birthday. You just type in birthday and there they are. Then if you go into props and type in birthday, this is the cake that I used here and it, I think it's designed to go with these graphics here. Then I just added some text in a rectangle shape that I had for this background here, okay? So that's how I did that, but that's not what we're doing today. So we're gonna go ahead and delete that scene. So now I need to get some graphics in here, customized for Rachel. Now remember, she likes flowers and cupcakes. So I had gone over to Pixabay earlier and found some graphics that I like. For example, here is the cupcake. And then I already earlier downloaded a image of a background that we're gonna bring in. So go to props. Click the blue plus sign and then browse for your files. If I go to downloads, I'll find my muffin, which I just downloaded. And then this frame that I downloaded a little earlier. So let's go ahead and bring our background image in. And what I plan on doing is starting with it kind of wide like this. And then I'll do a camera move and zoom in so that the actual card fills the frame. And then I'll end with my text, happy birthday, Rachel, etc. And then also I'll bring in my little muffin. And honestly, we could do this kind of as a foreground image like so, or we could make it part of the actual message itself, like so. We'll need to figure that out. I kind of like it as its own little thing to go in front. So let's go ahead and get this message in. Go to text and choose a, a font that you like. Next. I think today we will use something like this, Shadows into Light. I like to make it customized with the person's name. Of course, you can reuse this for your other friends if you wanted and just edit the name. Okay, and then we just need to decide what we want to do with our little cupcake. Do we want it to be part of the graphic? I think so. That's cute. Now let's do some timing and add our camera move. I think I'm going to start with this as a zero duration. So this is not going to draw on or fade on or anything. It's just going to be there when the video starts and it's going to be blank. And then I want it to say happy birthday right away. And then maybe a little bit of a delay here before wishing you all the best comes on. And probably want to make it a little slower on the drawing. And then likewise, a little bit of a delay on Love Pam. And then the muffin. You probably want that to come in before Love Pam. And let's click on the little pencil icon and let's choose reveal mode fade, save and return. And let's make that about a second and a half fade. Let's go ahead and throw down a quick voiceover. Go down to the microphone, click the plus sign. When you're ready to speak, you're just gonna click this little red button and start talking. Happy birthday, Rachel. Wishing you all the best on this special day. I love you. And that's fine. Now, 
this little gap of dead air, we can just close that up like that. And at the beginning, there's also a gap. I'm going to close it up and then I can move this down just a touch. I feel like this love pan is a little too delayed, so I'll do half a second. And now we're going to do our camera move. So let's go over here to show preview. And now let's move our playhead to the beginning. Let's take a quick look and decide where we want the camera to start moving. Happy birthday, Rachel. Wishing you all the best on this special day. I love you. All right, you noticed it kept trying to erase where that little cupcake is going. So let's go down to setting. And let's just turn smart mode off. And let's try again. Happy birthday, Rachel. Wishing you all the best on this special day. I love you. Okay, so I think right after we say happy birthday, Rachel, then we should do the camera move. So the reason I like this little um, mini preview is see how I can control where the playhead is and get it exactly where I want the camera to start moving. So like right in here, she finishes, she's as she's writing happy birthday, Rachel, like right here, I want the camera to start zooming in. So I've got it positioned at 1.22 seconds. I'm gonna click the little plus sign. And then I'm just gonna drag it over right to where the playhead is. So that's exactly where the camera moves gonna start. Now, double click. And I get these little tools here. I want it to start full screen, so I'm not going to do anything here. But where it ends, I can control what the camera does. So see how I can move it? This is what I want. I want a nice shot where we can see a really close up of the card. Something like that will look nice. We click apply. And now if we preview it again, you'll see it. By default, it's at like a two second zoom, so it's pretty fast. Happy birthday, Rachel. Wishing you all the best on this special day. I love you. And that looks great. If you want a slower zoom in, you can just drag this over. And I think that's what I'm gonna go for today. Let's just see. So let's go ahead and go back, click play. Happy birthday, Rachel. Wishing you all the best on this special day. I love you. Okay, so we can hide the preview. And I like to go back to where it fills the screen here. So you use these little tools to zoom back in. Now if we go to scene settings, let's add some time at the very end of the scene. Let's just say seven seconds. That way, when the video plays, it will continue to show this little message for a few seconds. This is great for you know social media or what have you. And that's really all there is to it. I hope this gives you some ideas for wishing your friends a happy birthday. Thanks for watching.